Okay, this is our second video for goodness of fit. This comes from homework problem 10.2. Uh, and we're going to see this is different. And because it's different, it's not quite as tricky. Um, we have equal expected frequencies here, which is case one, if you go back to the first page of the notes. Um, and it says a researcher claims that the number of homicide crimes by season is uniformly distributed. To test this claim, you randomly select 1,195 homicides from a recent year and record this season when each happened. The table shows the results. At alpha equals 0 0.10, test the researcher's claim. So the researcher said that it's uniformly distributed, so that the null hypothesis is the dis dis distribution of the number of homicide crimes by seasons is uniformly distributed. And we know this is the claim. And again, you always set the null and alternative hypothesis up this way. The distribution of the number of homicide crimes by season is not uniformly distributed. And again, we'll see that's always the case. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this in just a second, but um, the critical value chi-square on the last video, I didn't show you where that came from because the question didn't require it. And this question doesn't require it either, but I felt like I should show you how we calculate the chi-square uh, chi critical value using StatCrunch. So I'm going to do that here in just a second. But what you see there is a screenshot that shows the chi-square calculator. I entered the degrees of freedom as 3, which is n minus 1. Well, we're going to look at the table in just a minute and see that there's four seasons. So there's four categories. Minus 1 is 3. And my significance level is 0 0.10. So if you look, You'll see, I know it's prints kind of small, the degrees of freedom is entered as 3, the 0 0.1 for the alpha, and then, of course, this is always a right-tailed test, so I had to change my um, relationship symbol to greater than. <clears throat> so that gave me a critical value of 6.251. We can use the critical value method uh, compared to the test statistic, but we don't need to because of the p-value. So when I run the test, and you're getting ready to see that in just a second, uh, my test statistic, chi-square, came in at 2.473 with StatCrunch. My p-value came as 0 0.480. Well, if you see here, the null is high. It's got a fly, so we're going to fail to reject the null. So my statement is there is not enough evidence at the 10% level of significance to reject the claim that the distribution of the number of homicide crimes by season is uniformly distributed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you this, and then I'm actually going to work through the problem again. But after I loaded, the, loaded everything into StatCrunch, and sure enough, you see four seasons, four categories, um, the number of homicides by each season. And when I... Uh, do the uh, goodness of fit chi-square test. It's X, I put in the frequency, but you notice what's different is all cells in equal proportion. I didn't have to go through everything to get the uh, expected value. It's much easier in this type of uh, problem. And I ended up with a 2.473 rounded chi-square, 0.482. So Quickly, we're going to move to the problem itself, I hope. And let's put me down here. Um, so I'm going to open in StatCrunch. And I think you'll like this. It's very straightforward. Stat, goodness of fit, chi-square. Now, my observed are the frequencies. I click all cells in equal proportion, I click compute, and I'm done. Uh, so these are the two kind of questions we're doing for goodness of fit for this introductory statistics course. These are, uh, I think there's questions one, two, and three from the homework. We're going to move from here to uh, test for independence. Um, and it's a uh, uh, contingency tables, and that'll be the, there'll be, one more video for this section. Uh, now, in the next section, you're going to be able, you're going to need to know how to use the chi-square calculator to find those critical values, and I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, stat calculator chi-square. My degrees of freedom was three. 
my let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit my significance level was 0 0.1 I'm going to change this to the right for greater than and when I click compute I see I get a 6.251 um, the reason I wanted you to see that is even though these first three homework problems did make you find the critical chi-square the contingency table problems which is the next uh, five or six um, will have you do this and remember this is a really short section we're just doing these two types of tests so uh, or I guess you could say it's three types of tests uh, hope you find this helpful and I'll try to get the other two up as quick as I can